Let me just pause, beautiful Jess, for a second. The cactus pants is back. Welcome back to the vlog. It is October 18th. I feel like I can finally get Halloween-y, get in the creepy spirit of things now it's gone past the halfway mark of October. How much did you miss me and my ugly kitchen though? It feels, feels good to be back. I have admittedly not been on the top of my vlogging game, but let me explain. So as most of you know, the Vlogtober schedule is five new videos every single week. So it's not a seven day schedule because I knew I'd be setting myself up for a kind of failure with that. And I'm so glad that I stuck to the five days because it allows for a little bit of flexibility. And I'm not gonna lie, the last couple of days, I just haven't been feeling myself. It's been a mixture of, I feel like bad diet and I feel like a bad diet sometimes can really, really throw you off sort of being productive and feeling normal the next day. As a freelancer, there's just times, there's weeks, um, little periods. I always feel like there's a week every now and again, maybe every other month where I just don't feel inspired. I Not that I don't feel inspired, but I feel like high on the procrastination level and I just don't get around to doing much. I don't have a flame under my ass. I don't have any really big deadlines that I need to meet. All I can do when those kind of weeks happen is not beat myself up over it and just let it pass. And that's just kind of what I've been doing. I took it easy. I basically took my two days off, which is usually a Friday and a Saturday from the schedule. And I had them earlier in the week. So I think I took, ooh, I think I took Monday and Tuesday off pretty much I feel like that's what's kind of been happening and now I'm back I'm feeling a little bit more fresh today Carl is out getting my first coffee in two days so I'm sure that will pet me up and I actually have a reason to leave the house today I have a few bits to do and I feel like that's the best way to get back into the groove is just getting out of the house and having something to do even if it's nothing major so second reason I thought it was smart to just go with the flow and take those days off earlier in the week was because I have so much planned for the next like week and a half, like you guys from here on out, it's a little crazy. Halloween in October is my favorite month because it's also my birthday month. My birthday is on the 22nd of October, so that's really close to Halloween and it's just always been like my favorite time of year. My absolute favorite thing to do uh, for my birthday the last couple of years is just really get into the Halloween spirit and book like a bunch of tours, anything that's like spooky, like haunted houses or, you know, haunted jail tours. Like that's like anything that's going on wherever I am, I book into it and last year was a really lonely birthday for me I literally did nothing for it um, and it sucked <laughs> so this year I booked in so much stuff so I just figured instead of like putting out a half ass vlog on the days where I was literally feeling crap and doing nothing and save the vlogging days for when I'm actually doing stuff which is the rest of the week like I have so much stuff on for Thursday and Friday and um, the days I usually take off so I just felt like it made sense to just take it easy earlier on in the week but uh, don't worry we're going to be straight up with the vlogs every single day for the next week and a half so it's going to be intense but it's fun there's it's way more exciting to edit the vlogs in the morning when i'm actually when i've actually been doing stuff so that's what's been up you here coffee boy thank you thank you thank you very much how's your trip and? got a hot coffee yeah Ooh, change um, okay, so the other bit of my morning that I wanted to talk about in my sort of my beauty chat roundup for the start of the vlog, two things that I've been loving and also disliking because I guess with the regular, well, with this vlog schedule, I'm not doing sort of my regular videos, like my favorites and stuff. So I thought that I would do that this morning, just a little quick two minute roundup. Likes, dislikes, all of that good stuff. So I'm going to start with my dislike for the month. Um, cleansing balms. <laughs> I really try to like them, you guys. So many gorge beauty YouTubers that I love, I've watched them use them in their vlogs and they swear by cleansing brands. The basic like, preface is that you got this goo, you smush it in um, with like warm water and it helps like dissolve like even the toughest makeup, like mascara, waterproof, all that kind of stuff. And it just seems to melt off their face. I was really open to like changing my routine and everything like that so I was on a couple of press events and these were the two that I decided to like pit against each other. Number one being the Eve Lam, which I feel like, correct me if I'm wrong, is this not the most like famous product that they have? And then the one I pitted against it was the Seate London Makeup Melter which I didn't even know Seate did makeup but you guys know their bronzer is like the bronzer I use every single day in Palm Island. I'm wearing it right now. So this is the other one I got and it's a lot smaller I feel like and the look of it looks a lot more like coconut oil like 
it literally looks almost exactly like coconut oil maybe a little softer i don't know the ingredients in it it doesn't say on the jar but basically my experience with these is in general i think they're messy i don't know how anyone uses them without literally getting a water all the way down here and um, i wouldn't say it was the worst experience it was kind of relaxing and it was satisfying to see it melting off the mascara especially because i use particularly strong waterproof mascara um, but I just, for me, it was just too messy. If it got in my eyes, I couldn't really see properly. It was a little bit like, uh, not stingy, but just like, there was stuff in your eyes, you know what I mean? Um, I didn't really dig that. So I am much more of a cotton pad person, like oil-based makeup remover, cotton pad, and then double cleanse with like a cleansing lotion afterwards. So for me, they just weren't for me. However, the one that I actually shockingly liked more was the Ciate. I had really high hopes for this one, but this one actually did take my makeup off a little faster. I think I timed it. And this one took like two to three minutes per eye to really get everything off gently. And this one took maybe like 30 seconds to a minute for each eye. So if I had to pick either, I would actually go for the Ciate one. The only thing is it is smaller. Oh, it's getting shadowy. Let's get a little bit closer. Okay, so my love has been this. This is the new Hourglass confession refillable lipstick set and this was a press drop that i got in the mail and i've been really really enjoying it uh, you guys know hourglass is a brand that i've added into my routine a little bit their bronzers and their blushers absolutely adore them never try their lips though and i wanted to show this because number one i've been impressed and i've been using the shades if you watched my last haul it's what i used on my lips but i also wanted to show it because i thought it would make an excellent christmas present um, I used to work in beauty, I used to work at the Chanel counter for many many years and what I would always get my friends and family as gifts was like little lipsticks and nail polishes and like little pairings and because you know those luxury brands they even though they're small products they've really fluffed them up and the packaging and everything like that. I think the packaging in itself is quite substantial and the reason I think it would make a good gift is because it's not just one lipstick it's technically three and I just adore the packaging it nearly looks like a cigarette box i know the general name for lipstick packaging is a bullet but oh my god this genuinely does look like a bullet i think it looks super luxurious and this is basically what the lipstick looks like this one is in my one desire they're three exclusive shades they're all sort of nudes and i feel like if you had a light to medium skin tone you're good to go with the shades i feel like and the whole idea is that these um tubes here are refillable so that if you want to rebuy a shade you don't need to repurchase the entire packaging which is 80 percent of what you're paying for when you do get like a lipstick product so it's nice that you can get the refills which look like this or different shades at a kind of like a much lower price you're not like paying for the whole entire packaging again sorry i just moved you guys there all of a sudden got really really dark as you can see they're really easy wearable three versions of a nude and the one that i think i've been using the most are these two but i figured since i just finished doing my makeup and all that i have is, is lips i thought i would show you guys how it looks on so this is the shade you are my and the reason I'm recommending them is, first of all, I like the formula. The formula is very creamy. And when it comes to nudes, I like my nudes to be creamy, but still have like nearly the appearance of being like semi-matte. And also, as you can see what I'm doing now, because the bullet itself is so small and precise, I find it really easy to like line my lips with this. Like I don't need to use lip liner because I can get into my cupid's bow, like all those crevices really easily, which usually are quite hard to do with a, a fatter lipstick. Fatter lipstick, I probably should have picked a more eloquent word, but yeah, that's why I like them. The camera may be picking it up a little bit more ready brown, but it's definitely more of a pink brown. And then what I do is I get the lighter shade called True Love Means. And I just kind of pop this in the center. This is the lighter pinky nude shade. Like, kind of like that. And I feel like just the overall look makes it look more plump because you got the kind of ombre lip going on. So yeah, I thought I'd recommend those because they're pretty and I enjoy them, okay? I'll try and leave a link below to these, but I do know they're available at Space and K, Sephora, places like that that sell hourglass for sure. Another beautiful day, we're taking advantage of it, even though none of the lights coming into the apartment. That's how you know it's winter. Um, but we're gonna shoot my outfit today. Me and Kyle have not shot 
an outfit look together in a really long time so it might take a while for us to get into the swing of it but I'm excited to start posting outfits on taramaries.com again it's been quite a while uh, but I'm excited to try and get back into it and sharing regular outfits I've just been struggling to kind of find my voice on there because really at the moment all I want to do is just share my outfits and not really like type too much like I feel like everything that's going on in my life I share in the vlog so it feels a bit repetitive to talk about the same stuff on my blog so it's it's been tough for me to find like unique content to share on there but I'm just gonna start sharing my outfits again and see where we go from there. So I think this is gonna be our spot. Just getting set up with our camera um, and then I think we're gonna use this spot I've been wanting to shoot here for a while but there's usually tons of posters here. Actually this is the bit where I like share my outfit but I think you guys mostly know where all this stuff is from anyway and it'll be on the blog I need to save something for there. It might actually Sorry. be live when this vlog goes up so I'll link it down below with all the links and the details. Might as well get bread while we're here. We had it really well. We spent a good bit of time, maybe like half an hour, just getting used to it again. It's been a while, uh, but we got there. I think Kaha got some really good shots, so I'm excited to go through them. But first, bread, because that's a prayer. Yeah, it is. Bakery time, bakery time. Mixed what are we getting? Spicy. You want to get the sourdough this time? Oh my god, this cage was at the bakery dressed up as. Harry Potter but we keep bumping into him and I don't know what it is but this is the third time this week we've crossed his path and he's, he's like brat, he's such a brat he's such an Upper East Side brat but he was asking me and Carl in the bakery did we have kids do we have a dog and then I said bye Harry Potter when we left and he called us Lucius and I think like Marcus, yeah yeah like Malfoy Draco Malfoy's parents what a little skitter got our bread sourdough and the ultimate whole wheat if anyone looks on my bank account, it's all bread, all of it. Oh, oh my god, he's so fluffy. Hello, hello, fluffy dog. Oh. Is it a girl or a boy? Oh, it's a girl. Okay, I'm gonna let you go back to your walkies because everyone is probably stopping you. Doggy Central. I don't know about you guys, but that, that just made my day. Puppy rubs. Since getting flu for I've just been so dog obsessed. I think Kyle can vouch for that. Are you vouching? Are you vouching? Making a taco pit stuff. Damn, boy. Look myself. Oh my god, there's a stall here that does fried mochi ice cream. Ugh. I've heard way too much about chicken cone, so we're getting the spicy ranch. I'm actually going for like an early birthday dinner with my girlfriend tonight, but I'm so hungry now, so we're gonna share one of these. <sighs> oh, so they freshly make the cone and then they like toss the fried chicken in whatever sauce you want. We got the spicy ranch, which is apparently the best seller, and then you eat it. I'm not gonna have that much, I swear, but taste test, is it good? People are gonna feel like we eat so much. I know, everyone thinks we eat like shit all the time. I feel like we've gone into full boyfriend, girlfriend mode. Oh, it is good, I like that. Look, we shared, it doesn't count. Made it downtown, we're at Sean Penn Station. <laughs> when it calls jokes that I'm reusing. Um, but yeah, we're finally getting to B&H to pick up my lens, my 35mm 1.4 for my Canon camera. I'm so excited to start shooting with that lens, you have no idea. Uh, made it. This is me. Uh, quick and easy in and out. Whoa. Just hopped off the subway in Soho, it's so pretty. Um, but I have a little bit of time to spare before I meet my girlfriend for dinner. Uh, it's really nearby here, a place called Ruby's, I think. I've left Kyle responsible for the Trader Joe's shop and I'm, I'm kind of proud of him. This is his first time like being dropped off quite a ways from where we live and like just off kind of doing something for the both of us. Like usually we've been kind of doing everything together. So oh, he's settling like it. I've got about 25 minutes to spare. So I'm just popping down on Broadway and I'm going to have a little nip into Mango and Zara because Erica from Retro Frame just did a Zara haul and she got some really nice things. So let's try not to shop. Oh, I love these. What do you guys think? 
So I'm in Mango and I kind of fell in love with these trousers. I love these kind of military cargo style pockets. I, I don't know what it is, but I love trousers that are tight on the thigh and then like go really baggy at the bottom. These definitely need to be taken up. I love them, but I just can't get over the price. They're $80 here and the European price is on them as a 40 euros. And the way the exchange rate is at the moment, dollars are pretty much the same as euros. So I think I'll be ordering this online and sending it to my parents' address because half price is pretty hard to argue. Just off of the subway now, I'm waiting around for Kaho, he's meeting me here and then I think we're just gonna go walk around our neighborhood before we head back to the flat. <laughs> but I think I got a lot of clips today so I'm gonna end the vlog here. Hopefully it'll be a bit of a longer one for you guys, I think you deserve it. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more Vlogtober. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye from 72nd Street.